Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a very hot and humid Menasha, Wisconsin today. Yes, it is very, very warm here. I don't know if you can hear my ceiling fan going, but I've got it on high, so you might see things kind of flopping in the wind here. I love this hot and humid weather, so don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, but it does pose a few challenges. So, first of all, I have a fun fold for you today, and I'm going to show you how to make this card. This was actually made by one of my downline, Kathy Miller, and I just thought it was so pretty that I needed to show you how to do this. And then I've also got a whole bunch of cards to show you using the same Happy Birthday Gorgeous bundle. So I want you to stick around till the end, and I'll have a slideshow on the video showing you a bunch of very, very different cards. I love when you find a stamp set or a bundle that is so versatile and you can make so many different looks with it. So I'm excited to excited to share that with you. Let's get started and I'll show you how to make this. All right, first of all, I'm gonna start off here with our layers of cardstock. I always like to give you my dimensions first so that if I get going later and I forget, you've got them. You'll also always find these on my blog. So if you wanna, um, you know when you're on YouTube, if you're on YouTube and you're watching my video, if you look right under the video, it'll say something like see more or something like that. If you click on that, it'll show you all the information for my video, which includes a link to my blog directly to this particular post, not just a general link to it. I hate it when I go to find something and it's just a general link to somebody's blog. So I always make sure that I'm linking directly to the post related to the card that I'm making just for you because I'm nice like that. <laughs> okay, first thing we're gonna do, cardstock. This is a piece of the Thick Whisper White and it is five and a half by seven and three quarters scored at five and a half. So pretty, pretty easy there. Then I've got a piece of Berry Burst that is five by, I'm sorry, five and a quarter by four. A piece of Whisper White that is three and three quarters by five. Another piece of Berry Burst that is three and five eighths by three and an eighth. Another piece of Whisper White that is three and a half by three. Another piece of Berry Burst, are you dizzy yet? This is four by two. And then we've got a piece of the Naturally Eclectic Designer Series paper. And this is one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths and a scrap of Emerald Envy. This is where I'm getting the Designer Series paper. And I know I've shown you this before, but just in case we have some new people watching, I wanted to show you this paper. This is one of my favorite sets of Designer Series paper. It's shown on page 188 in the big catalog and um, it's called Naturally Eclectic. And look at these beautiful designs. I absolutely love this paper. It's bright, it's cheerful, it's fun. I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of fun with it. So it's obviously fun, right? Because, well, you know. And um, I hope that I wowed you with all my measurements and how, you know, I rattled those off really quick, but I don't like to fool anybody. So I just wanted to let you know, I have this all in a cheat sheet because I could never remember all this stuff. So we're gonna get started making our card. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take my seven and three quarters by five and a half inch piece of thick Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to give that a good burnish with my bone folder. And then we can start layering together some of our elements here. So I've got my designer series paper and I like to use my liquid glue. You can use whatever kind of adhesive you like. But I like this because I can slide it around if I happen to get it crooked rather than peeling it off and possibly tearing it. That doesn't make me very happy. So we're just gonna layer these elements together. This is a really easy fun fold to make and I don't know about you but I just love fun folds. I think they're awesome. And then we've got this piece is going to go on the inside of our card. There's not really a lot of stamping involved with this particular card because we're using the Happy Birthday Thinlet. Oh, that looks a little crooked there. Yep, see, just slide it around, get it where you need it to go. 
We're gonna do a little bit of stamping. Oh, look, there's a hole in this one. Well, that's not gonna work. And through the magic of TV, I have another piece. <laughs> okay, I'm using Berry Burst ink here, and I am just going to stamp my hip, hip, hooray, it's your day. And I'm gonna bring my piercing mat in here, which I should have used to begin with, but I forgot. And I've got these little flowers and the stem. So I'm just gonna come in with a couple little flowers here. Ah, oh, did you see what I did? Let's try this again. That's why there's always two sides, right? Let's see if I can stamp this properly this time. There we go. All right, so far so good. Now I'm just gonna throw this flower in here. There we go, and one more. Isn't that cute? And as long as we're stamping, let's decorate our envelope right away. I hate to see envelopes go out in the mail blank because we have the ability to make somebody smile before they even open our card, right? So why not do that? So here's my cute little envelope. Here's the inside to my card, and as long as we're there, I'm going to get this right on the inside. I should say on the inside right away. How about that? Let's see if I can talk. There we go. And then we've got this piece. So this is the Happy Birthday Gorgeous bundle and if you order both of these you save 10% but this stamp set comes with 32 images and then you could also get this happy birthday which is part of the bundle and this is my all-time favorite little element and that's what our emerald envy scrap is for so I'm gonna run this through my big shot and I'll be right back okay and I've got this poked out of here and it comes out super easy I just use the magnetic platform and the cutting plate so it was very, very easy. We're going to glue this white panel to our berry burst panel. And then I really like what Kathy did with this happy birthday because she cut the words apart, which is a pretty neat idea. So I'm just going to trim that where it's connected. And then I'm just going to trim these little bits up here a little bit so it looks a little more natural and not like I hacked something off of it, right? There we go. That looks pretty darn good. If you've watched my Wednesday tip videos, you know all about how I like to glue this stuff, these um, more intricate dies. So I am going to just take a piece of scrap paper here so that I don't get glue all over my stamping surface and turn my happy and my birthday to the back and then I put some liquid glue here and I've got a sponge and I'm just going to add some glue to the back instead of trying to squeeze glue onto these intricate dies this is just a much better way to do it. And it sticks nicely. You don't have to worry about glue squishing out from underneath. Nobody nobody likes that, right? It's icky. Isn't that cute? I love the idea of breaking that word apart. You can think outside the box from time to time and come up with these cute ideas. Then I'm going to bring in my glitter enamel dots. And let's see if I can find my pokey tool. Here's another one. We'll find that later. And I'm just going to pop a few of these enamel dots. And these are variegated. You can see that they're darker and then they go lighter. So it's kind of an ombre effect, which is pretty neat. I'll do one there and there. And then how about... Another one, how about right here? Well, maybe right there. That looks good. You always kind of put these um, little embellishments on in threes. That's the way that it kind of balances your project. 
So now I'm going to bring this in, and when you go to put this layer on your card front, I'm gonna use dimensionals, and you only need the dimensionals over on the one side that's connecting to this little piece right here. I'm gonna pop that off. Then you're gonna bring this in here and you're gonna center it on your card front. So that's what I'm looking at when I go to place it. That looks pretty good. Last but not least, I'm going to bring in my bow jig and I'm going to tie a bow with this crinkled ribbon. I absolutely love it. So we're gonna cross it over. I call this the cancer ribbon. Cross it over underneath, over the top, and tie it in a single knot. And there we have our cute little bow. I think I could have made this bow one size bigger. So if you want to do yours um, two notches away from the center, And I'm going to trim it up. I've got glue all over these scissors. I need to clean them. Or I should give them to my husband because last time I did that, he cleaned them up really nice for me. <laughs> so I don't remember if in the last video I told you guys, but my husband has decided to retire. So that's great news. And I am very happy for him. He has worked hard all his life. And now it's time to enjoy things. So good for him. He tells me to keep working, though. <laughs> keep working. You keep making videos. You keep stamping cards. Bless his little heart, right? <laughs> so yay for him. Okay, and I'm just going to put this right up here in the corner. And I think after I put this bow on, I want to trim this up just a little bit more so it's not overpowering my happy birthday. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Okay. Here we go. Here is our fun fold card. Isn't that cute? Love it. Thank you, Kathy Miller, for this fabulous idea. I loved your design. I love this because it's so simple, but it's such a wow. Fun folds are always a wow. Hang tight. I'm going to have a slideshow for you of a whole bunch more cards using the Happy Birthday Gorgeous bundle. Today. Thanks for joining me today on my video. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and I'd be happy to send you our current catalog. We also have a holiday catalog coming out September 1st. Brand new, awesome stuff. I got to see it um, when we were in Thailand. 
So if you would like to get your hands on a copy of that, if you have placed an order with me in the last six months, you'll automatically get the new mini catalog. And if you haven't placed an order with me in the last six months, hop online and place an order. You will automatically go into my mailing list for the upcoming holiday catalog. We also have a special going on right now with our discount shopper kit. For $99, you can get the value of $209.50. It's a no-brainer. It also gives you a discount on all products that you order. And there are no strings attached. You have a minimum of three months that you'll be able to use the discount. And of course, there's always minimums that you have to maintain with these discount shopper kits. Our minimum is $300 a quarter. And what happens if you don't do $300 a quarter? Nothing, you get dropped off of the discount shopper status and um, nobody comes knocking at your door looking for all that product that you got at a huge discount back. So that's something you're interested in please get in touch with me. I have all the information on my blog in the side column. There is um, a $99 starter kit button that you can push and it has question and answers and all kinds of details. This is really a no-brainer. If you have a wish list that's around $100, you should really take advantage of this kit. Plus, during the month of the July, you get an extra stamp set, you get a bone folder, you get um, some snail adhesive, you get a pack of grid paper, you get a whole bunch of stuff um, during the month of July when you order this kit. So if you have any questions, let me know. Again, pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Enjoy the summer weather no matter where you are and add a little sparkle to someone's day. Send them a card.